here we are for another video. It's 2021. Happy New Year, everyone. And thanks for everyone that's watching my videos. I've put all of my extra savings into this dividend account, and it's very important to me. It's my future investment fund. For this month, we are currently sitting at $4,340, 8.45% yield, 367 annual income. All my stocks are here. I have 12 holdings of dividend stocks. I am thinking of upgrading this Track Your Dividends. I think it's $5.99 a month. It has some features that I've never used. Here's a summary of all my stocks. I've never shown this before. I'm not too sure about the colors here, but NA, I think that's uh, some of my REITs. So what happened this month is that I've left Robinhood. I can still log into the account, but all my stocks are, are gone out of here. I have emailed Robinhood. They informed me that they were not supporting ETFs, investment trusts, which I assume real estate investment trusts are in with investment trusts, and some closed-ended funds, which, I, which as you can see is half my portfolio. Some dividends have trickled in just today. When you do a transfer of stocks from Robinhood, you want to do a partial transfer. I did a full transfer not knowing that it would lock up my account and close my account. So I can't transfer funds in or out. I'm trying to get that reversed here so I can at least transfer this four dollars out. Anything else and anything else that might come in. So where did my stocks go? I've transferred over to Weeble. It was a $75 fee. Uh, they reversed that and refunded that to me. Here are all my holdings. Weeble is a little bit hard to navigate. You got to kind of search around. I'm not sure how to click on these to show these here. Uh, Tesla is just sitting here up here. The phone app is a little better. Uh, Robinhood is really easy, really fun to use. Uh, Weeble, a little less fun, uh, but I like some of the features on there. Under each stock, there's a community comment section from other investors. It's pretty interesting. There's some research capabilities that you don't have with Robinhood. So this month, I've purchased 15 more shares of Dynex Capital. Weeble does not have as nice of a chart as Robinhood, but DX here has steadily been going back up. It's been staying around $17, so, so I decided to pick up some more shares of that. The real estate sector, been some ups and downs here, so not too bad. Pretty steady. Towards the end of the month here, I'm thinking of adding a few more stocks to my portfolio. Another energy stock. BUK. Duke Energy. Now they're more towards electric utilities and infrastructure. They even do coal, hydroelectric, natural gas, oil, a lot of different things. They pay out a dividend of 386 a year. And that is quarterly. Pretty solid company. Looking at HRZN. Not too sure about this. Going to do a little more research. They invest in developmental stage investments into technology, life science, healthcare, clean tech. They do pay a monthly dividend, $1.20 a year. Their dividend has not gone up significantly at all since way back 2013. 
Another one I was looking at, Spidey, what I like to call it, PYD. That's an S&P 500. Their main investment is in real estate, some banks, utilities, energy. They do pay a dividend of 1.63 a year. I kind of want a little bit more of monthly paying stocks into my portfolio. And the last one here, SJR. This is a communication stock out of Canada. They do video, internet, Wi-Fi, phone, satellite. Uh, they just got into 5G. So analysts have set this as going up. Their dividend is 91 cents per year, and they do pay monthly. This is one I'm going to definitely add to my portfolio. Uh, let me know what you think. Also, I've opened a Fidelity account for non-dividend investments. Now, they do offer fractional shares. So I got $150 worth of Tesla and $20 worth of Netflix. They've shot up a lot in the last month. Tesla as well, but I'm a little more sure of Tesla. So obviously putting a little more into that. They gave me a free share, I guess, of Fidelity here. I'm not sure what this is. So thanks for watching my videos. Hope this has helped somebody at least not make the mistake I did of transferring a full transfer from Robinhood here. Hopefully I can get this open back up. And hope everyone has a happy new year.